the first thing you need to do is make yourself an astrometry.net account. If you go to astrometry.net and then go to use, you'll get this page and then you can go to nova.astrometry.net and you'll need to sign in. Once you've signed in, you can go to dashboard my profile and it will give you your API key, which you then copy and paste into Astro Image J when necessary. So now I've opened Astro Image J. It's very important that you have the most recent build. You can check which version you have about Astro Image J. I have 3.2.1, that point one is necessary. If you don't have the most recent version, go to update Astro Image J. It looks like 3.2.0 is the latest, but it's not. Scroll up to get to the daily build and hit OK. This will upload some files and then close Astro Image J and then you can just reopen it up again and you should be good to go. Now, under file, you can open up one of your FITS files. All right. And the first time you do this, you're going to need to go to plate solve using astrometry.net with options because you need to paste in your API key right there. Then hit start and it will plate solve your image. While it's plate solving, the little circles show up in blue. When it's all finished, they will show up in yellow. And we can scroll in to see our double stars. This shouldn't affect its solving ability. And sometimes this takes a couple of minutes. All right, they've turned yellow. It's done plate solving. Now all we do is middle click near the center of one star and hold the mouse down, scroll over to the other star and let up on your middle click. And it has calculated, measured and calculated the arc length and the position angle for you along with other information. Now the arc length, this is in arc seconds. It took into consideration the pixel scale of the camera and system and multiplied that times the pixels. And so it's already solved for the arc length. In this case, in arc seconds, it calculated the position angle for you as well, along with lots of other information in here. We only need those. You should write those down Rather, put those in a spreadsheet and then do the same process for all of your images, which we can then use to do some statistics on. And that's it.